Welcome to a predictive analytics session provided by Predictive Solutions. Predictive analytics, safety truth number four. So the last session I did, we talked about having uh, too many 100% safe observations being turned in. And today's, we're going to focus on the last safety truth, which is finding too many risky observations. So what we found is that there's a certain group of locations and facilities within our database that had a whole lot of risky things being observed on the checklist. So they are finding some risky things, but they're also having a whole lot of injuries. So the greater the frequency of these at-risk observations influences how many people get hurt. So again, SafetyNet can flag a location if it detects something. And in this case, if we specifically look at this summary, we can see that Atonium is finding a whole lot more risky things compared with other locations or facilities or projects. Now we can take a look at the project index. And again, we find that the designee and non-designee are all finding a whole lot of risky things out there. We can look at the project dashboard which also shows that the number of risky things being observed is on the rise, as well as late fixes. So not only are people uh, having open items, but they're not closing them out. So again, that could point to a lot of risky things are being identified, but nothing is being done. So let's take a look at the observer index. You can start looking at the characteristics of the observers in your locations. And in this example, you can see that uh, this person is finding a whole lot of risky things. And not only are they finding a lot of risky things, the things that are finding are very severe. And they're writing comments when they're doing that. So that tells me a lot of people are finding risky things. Now, to summarize my uh, last few sessions on the safety truths, out of the thousands of organizations and projects and facilities that we worked with, we typically can put them in the three different categories and it kind of reflects our safety truths. So the first category that we find is the locations that find nothing but 100% safe observations. Yet, as you see, they're high on the incident scale. So people are turning in a whole bunch of observations. They're all 100% safe, yet they're still having a lot of injuries. So we characterize that as flying blind. So they're not really using their observations or inspections to really make a difference in the culture. Now the second type of organizations that we found kind of fall into safety truth number four. Those are the locations that are not necessarily as high as the, the first group as terms of uh, injury rate, but they're finding a whole lot of risky things, still finding incidents. And to us, we characterize that as being inaction. Um, they're not taking action on the observation intelligence that they're collecting. Now, where you want to be is kind of in the middle. So for a third group of locations that have a low incident rate, we find that they don't find a whole lot of safe observations out there that are nothing but 100% safe, and they don't find a whole lot of high uh, number of risky things. We call that the find and resolve. So they truly are going out there, using the observation intelligence, finding what needs to be fixed or trained or provided, and resolving it. And by doing that, they're in a better position to be able to predict and prevent injuries. Wow.